Hello folks and welcome to Four Season Backpacking. Please subscribe for the latest outdoor adventure videos. So folks, <coughs> welcome to the Lake District Winter Solstice. One week wild camping in the snow, hopefully. Got here just before sunset, so there's no chance of getting any drone footage. Well, folks, of course, this week, the next two weeks is the obviously the two weeks of the shortest nights over the solstice period, winter solstice period, and um, it's only 3.55 or 15.55 uh, and it's so dark, the sun, I don't think the sun's quite set yet, I think it doesn't set for another 20 minutes but because of the mountains here, you can't, it's dark already because the sun is um, somewhere behind these mountains and the cloud and earlier on when I arrived in the Lake District at Ambleside the, the sunlight was stunning you got clear views of the snow on top of the mountains and it was absolutely gorgeous I wish I was up in the mountains then and tomorrow apparently it's supposed to be 50 mile per hour winds mist and fog so clear night though apparently so folks I promised you uh, some mountain uh, nighttime hiking that's what you're going to get on this winter solstice hike because I mean a lot of the time it is going to be dark I've got some good lightning lighting with me I have hell of a lot of experience hiking in winter conditions in the mountains in the dark in zero visibility as well so uh and this is a very easy route which i've done many times before along great langdale going up to um scarfell pike this is probably really dark now but uh probably the last time i'm going to film this scene tonight because it's dark i'll be filming my face after this <laughs> lucky you lot uh, so basically, um, yeah, this is the approach. I can't remember the name of the saddle here, but this is the approach you're going to go along, or one of them, actually, there's many approaches you can do. There's some on that side, you can even go up on the pikes up there. But um, this is heading towards uh, the way you'll be going anyway, the general direction, if you're coming from Great Langdale towards uh, Scarfell Pike. Uh, this is the most common route, I believe. It's the first route I did to Scarfell Pike. I've been up Scarfell Pike many times in all kinds of weather. The, um, the original plan was to um, hike up to Hard Knots Fort. I've camped up there before years ago. I've been past that quite a few times on winter hikes as well, mostly winter hikes. But I got here late and it's, it's by a little roadside, like a little back road. I think one of the steepest well, roads in Lake District anyway. Um, it's like a mount, small mountain pass. It's quite famous. Uh, Hard Marts Fort is the highest Roman fort in Britain, I believe. Um, it's quite impressive. I don't know how much of it has um, <laughs> been put up in recent times to please the Victorians. It's hard to tell with a lot of these so-called ancient sites. A lot of them not really what they seem, um, unfortunately. So it's hard to tell what's ancient and what's been put up more recently. I have to say, I was suspecting um, a lot more snow than there is. Um, I've seen quite a few people walk back already. I can't see any headlights at the moment. It's still still light enough to see where you're hiking. I'm using the camera light though, just obviously because I'm filming and you need some um, a good amount of light to get some decent footage. So uh, that's why I'm not filming the mountains now. It's just completely pointless, it's too dark. Now I know it's supposed to be um, supposed to be windy tomorrow but tonight it's supposed to be reasonably okay and um, it's supposed to be a clear night it's not supposed to be raining so the stars should be pretty good uh, but the morning this is a problem 
the winds are going to pick up, it's going to go maybe up to 60 miles per hour gusts. Um, I, I can't get any signal here, so I haven't got an update on the weather forecast. Um, I can't see anyone coming down with the head torches or no one going up or anywhere in the hills and this is quite a quite a popular area so maybe that's telling me that the weather is going to be bad tomorrow <laughs> but if I get up early enough I can miss that 60 mile per hour winds and I really don't want to be stuck in that if there's um, blizzards because I've been in quite wind blizzards before it ain't good even with the most warmest clothes like even the ski mask or on the, the ski goggles it's, it's hard work man, I've got total white out and um, navigation is particularly hard everything, you know, seriously, it was really difficult even with G GPS isn't very good in the mountains um, don't rely on it and obviously map would be totally useless if you can't see anything so uh, really you should stay put in your tent really till it's all over but of course I didn't, I wanted to get down the mountain I'm actually thinking about um, or going up to, originally I was going to go up to Angle Tarn which is on the way to uh, Scarfell Pike which is the way most, uh, most people walk if they're coming from Great Langdale but um, as it's starting to rain and I've been travelling all day I'm carrying so much food it's stupid like um, I'm carrying probably like three days worth of food that's not dehydrated it's got you know it's really sweet so it's not light um, I'm thinking about lightening the bag and tomorrow getting the bus to the other angle tarn in Pattersdale so, or is it Melsdale? Pattersdale? Melsdale? I can't remember and then camping up there tomorrow night then maybe coming back here the next night and hoping the snow's still here I'm hoping the weather's okay not too too windy but um to be honest yeah the bag is bloody like, like it is actually lighter than normal I have managed to lighten the bag up by the way guys but it's not light at the moment if you know what I mean because I've got loads of food <laughs> so I've got a deal on um, some outdoor food which I will obviously you're going to find out in this video I decided I'm going to carry on to the uh, angle star just thinking I would have never, never quit, quit in the past whatever the weather was um, and now I'm doing my video I'm going to be such a bloody wet night I'll carry on well I have to say yeah bear in mind I am carrying a hell of a lot I can still do it though because I was just feeling lazy um, I was going to bring the jack wall skin because it's lighter I have used it in winter but of course if it snows, the snow can go under the uh, first skin and because it's meshed the inner skin, your sleeping bag can get damp, which did happen actually. So even though my Marmot Grid 10 is uh, a kilo, just over a kilo heavier, I thought it was worth that extra bag of sugar because I've had that in, um, in the lakes over winter in 100 mile per hour winds twice. Um, in a serious storm in Iceland along with the Lang somewhat trail, the famous trail over there um, it's a good tent it's a only, I think I paid only 279 for it it's a four season tent you don't need your bloody expensive 700 pound tents absolutely no point well folks, got to be careful I'm carrying a lot now oh, I'm sticking this stupid to camp whatever tent you've got in a, um, an exposed area knowing there's going to be those kinds of winds anyway I mean yeah it make a great YouTube video but all it's going to do is your pegs to come out of the ground and you're a goner 
doesn't matter what tent you've got. But like I say though, you've got fair play if you do that and camp in exposed areas. Fair play man. Definitely got some nerves, man. Nerves of steel. I, I, I did used to camp in exposed areas in the past, but like I said, I've been in quite a few bad storms over the years. You might have to think. That's just crazy, man. So, uh, so th t tonight I'm probably going to camp in an exposed area, but hopefully I'll get the tent down before it goes crazy. It's not going to be. There's no stream weather forecast. I'm guessing those high winds are going to be at the very peaks. I'm not going to the peak, I'm going to the uh, Angle Tarn from the Great Langsdale, which I think is about 600 metres up. And again, I've kind of slightly changed my uh, camping plan. Am I not camp at the lake? Am I camping on a ledge that goes up the saddle to the Angle Tarn from the Great? Down. It's got a great view and there's actually some mobile phone signal. But at the time there's no there's no signal or anything. Um, plus I want to get the bus in the morning so it'll be a much better hike tomorrow of uh, the other angle time. So I'll be doing that in uh, daylight. This is a bit of a night time one for you. Well, it's supposed to be about 30 mile per hour gusts at the moment, I'm not getting any gusts, so if the wind stays in this direction, I think it's been okay ledge up here to camp in. I've camped on it quite a few times. It's not too far from the bus stop. <laughs> it's just the walk up this uh, saddle was probably the most uh, energetic part of walking up to Scarfell actually. This bit. I've decided to yeah, I'm going to camp on the ledge tonight. Tomorrow I'm going to go to uh, Angle Tarn in Kentucky. Excuse me, which? Uh, Petersdale. Petersdale. It's Petersdale. Then I'm going to come back here early and uh, camp right on the top of Scarfell. Only if there's no like, serious weather warnings. So before it starts totally hammering it down with snow or rain, it's kind of like a sort of very wet snow at the moment. I don't think it'll settle. Hopefully it won't snow too much because I've got an ice axe. I've got snow chains. This is what I got to the snow line. I thought, no, I've not got an ice axe. I don't know if it's going to hammer it down in the night. And there are some steep parts and I don't have an ice axe. So this is where I stopped. Now I've been um, going on about um, uh, tent safety and all that, I'm in quite an exposed area at the moment and the pegs, they're, they're really not in the ground tight, it's a really bad place to put the pegs. Uh, so if there's any strong wind it's quite dangerous. Uh, but I have looked at the weather forecast and apparently it's going to be okay until early morning. So it should be okay in the night. Um, no strong winds forecast in the night, so uh, yeah, I'm going to get some food on. Oh, this, oh, and this is the uh, Marmont grid tent I keep going on about. Okay, folks, this is my uh, sleeping setup. I've got a um, Rab Ascent 900. I've got a uh, Rab Silk Mummy sleeping bag liner which helps keep the uh, sleeping bag clean and makes it a little bit warmer as well. So you don't, have, you don't want to wash your uh, down sleeping bag too often. Um, and I've got an ultra lightweight um, mountain equipment bivvy, which I put around the sleeping bag to um, help try and keep it dry from the uh, condensation. So that's the uh, sleeping arrangement sorted out. There's the silk liner. There's the Rab Ascent 900. It's a female one. I got a female one because it's, I don't know what the difference is. All the difference that I can see is that it's shorter in length and I'm not exactly very tall. So it makes sense to have a shorter sleeping bag. It's lighter. Um, doesn't take up so much room in the bag either. And this is the ultra lightweight bivvy. Got myself a goodness shake as well for when I got up the hill. Bit uh, 20 grams protein for some of my size. 
I definitely don't need any more than 20 grams of protein. That is way more than enough. It's probably even too much, to be honest. I mean, the food I got with me, that has protein as well, but I might make some food in the morning. I'm not actually feeling hungry, so it's a bit pointless making some food if I'm not hungry. I might as well save it. Yeah, I got a deal on uh, all-day breakfasts with Wayfair. Um, I think it was... Um, 20 just under 21 pounds for six uh still can get the canned food cheaper but obviously carrying the cans empty cans is heavier than carrying empty packets so but yeah i've got six of those one of these loads of coffee bags um another reason why my bag's quite heavy at the moment and i've got also got um so i've also got two liters of uh bottled water and quite a big bottle of uh, Innocent Smoothie um, as a treat but um, I'm not actually camping right by the water source at the moment I can hear it but it's right down a steep snowy ditch so I won't be going down there anyway so this will come in useful but the bag will be will be lighter in the morning well it will be lighter in the morning folks nighttime hiking is not all that hard if you're on a well-defined track that's not covered in snow and a good head torch.